the road to the Olympics starts long before names like Paul Hamm and Sean Johnson become well known. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live this morning in Asheville to tell us about the Olympic connection. Good morning. Good morning. Well, right here, I'm in Osega Gymnastics Academy here. It is the home of Olympic quality athletes. I'm talking to Miles Avery. He knows how to spot them because he's actually been part of the Olympic coaching staff for the men's uh, gymnastics team for the past four Summer Olympic Games, right? 16 years That's of your life? 16 years of my life. At wow. The now, you actually individually worked with Paul Hom, who is the only men's gymnast to, uh, to have the gold medal? Absolutely. He's the only uh, American Olympic champion in, in history. Wow, amazing. But you say we've got some potential here. What is it when you're working with these young athletes, when they come to you, how do you know you might have the next Paul Hom on your team here? Well, the next certainly Paul Hamm or Gabby Douglas or anyone that's uh, yeah. the latest um, the hit in gymnastics. But uh, it is something special that you, you see about kids, and, uh, and some of it is in just their, their hard work. That's certainly certainly a quality that you have to have to, to, to be good in anything, and certainly in gymnastics. Well, we're watching Ethan Bird over here and make go through here and do some the maneuvers and uh, the what is it about him that's really stand out? Well, as I just mentioned, that 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 hard work, and Ethan is certainly one of the hardest working gymnasts that uh, that I've seen. Yeah, he certainly can can he listens very well. He translates what he hears into his body and is able to do what what you tell him to do, which is key to success. I was trying to give you a second to catch your breath because you were working pretty hard here, Ethan. What is it about gymnastics that drives you to be, as Coach says, so focused and so committed? Well, I've been in this sport since I was five, and uh, I've always really liked it. And now I've got the best coach of my life. So um, take this opportunity and work as hard as I can. Does he push you? Does he really work you hard? Yes. Is it ever a time when it's too much, or is this the kind of, the, like, you know he's got your best at heart? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I always know coach is not going to push me beyond what he knows I can do. Um, coach Miles is very good that way. It seems to me like we might have someone who's ready to do those interviews after you. Know, you just won the gold medal, <laughs> Ethan. How's it feel? Uh, coming up, we're going to take a look at some of the other great athletes. We've been getting a little look at them in behind me here. But this is one of the few gyms in the entire country that has the program in place, the program that all of the Olympic stars that you're about to see take the, the competition field. They all go through these programs in order to make it for their shot at the gold. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. Ready to see the 2012 Olympic athletes go for the gold. The next team of hopeful is already hard at work. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live from an Olympic gymnastics training site right here in Asheville, Victoria. They're already looking toward 2016, right? Absolutely. Of course, they'll be watching all the excitement of the London Games, but every day they're out here training, working hard with the goal of 2016 in mind. And they're doing it with the help of four-time Olympic uh, coach Miles Avery. This is Osega Gym, and this is where this is a unique program here. We're looking at Olivia behind us, and she actually is a hopeful for the next uh, Summer Olympics after this year, right? What a great time because uh, she's in a program called Hopes, and it leads to that elite track of being an Olympian. And most of our Olympians our current Olympians on this team have gone through this program. And she has some potential. What is it about her that you see that really is like, there's something special? Well, it's just that, that talent that you see. And there's nothing, nothing beats that, that talent when you see it. And you, you immediately identify it as, wow, this one's got something. And this is, a, this is a lot of effort. She's in here all the time working with you. How is it that these athletes can be so successful? Well, uh, again, you put that talent with, in terms of the, the competitive spirit of, of someone and their hard work. And I understand it's a family affair here because we've got Tammy McDon McDaniel, who is Olivia's mom, and you say the whole family is involved in this. What does it take for you to help her realize her dreams? Well, we have to get her here every day and support her when she goes to meets, um, traveling in the spring, just supporting her. How did you know that she wanted to do this? Uh, well, from the time she could walk, she was flipping and upside down, and I knew that to keep her from hurting herself, I better get her in a gym. So, <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think that she would have this type of, I mean, the Olympics are not just like, gee, she wants to be in the Olympics. This young lady is a potential contender for that. Well, um, I guess I just left it to the coaches to identify that, and we just, you know, what it, whatever she wants to do will support her, you know, without pushing her, but her coaches are good at that, so. That's where, that's where you can do Yeah, we'll do the pushing. Monica, certainly, and I will we'll do the pushing, but, um, 
But again, uh, when you have a pure talent like Olivia, it is it is easy because you, every day you see you are amazed as a coach that wow, this little girl is so talented. She is really talented. Hey, Olivia, can I have the uh, exclusive interview when you bring home the gold? <laughs> she said yes, everybody. You heard that. We have it on tape. It's on record. And we're coming up in our next half hour, we're going to take a look at the full picture of the Olympics. They come with incredible potential, but also sometimes a little controversy. That's coming up. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13.